Saturday, December 21st, 2019, Maneco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So Billy is guarding his silver bar. I think he should guard it very uh, safely right now because silver has been such a hated asset for many, many years now, seven years or so. It's been uh, at depressed levels for a long time. It's underperformed gold and uh, a lot of other assets. But uh, I want to look at the technicals and the cycles in silver and uh, look at how silver is actually looking uh, better right now. Uh, for the cycles, I'm going to look at a, an article I saw here on Zero Hedge from yesterday. It says the strongest seasonal advance in precious metals begins now. And he talks, uh, what's his name, uh, Dimitri Speck from actingmen.com. He talks about silver. I'll read what he, he says about the seasonal uh, seasonality for the silver price. Silver is seasonally cheap in mid-December. First, let us look at the seasonal chart of silver. The chart shows the average moves in silver prices in the course of a calendar year over the past 69 years. The horizontal axis shows the time of the year. The vertical axis depicts price information. With the help of this chart, seasonal trends can be identified at a glance. Note, the seasonal pattern does not end at the turn of the year, but actually continues at the beginning of the year, i.e. on the left-hand side of the chart, as you can see. So let's uh, continue here. Uh, so it's silver price seasonal pattern over past 69 years. Silver prices typically rise very strongly until end of February. As the chart illustrates, on average, silver tends to post the by far strongest price gains early in the year until peaking uh, close to the end of February. This rapid advance actually begins in mid-December, blue arrow. Thereafter, the price typically retreats again. The silver makes a move in excess of its total annual seasonal gain over the coming two months. We're going to look now at the um, gold-silver ratio, short term and long term. We're going to look at uh, some silver price charts and the gold price chart. So the first chart I want to show you is the long term chart of uh, the gold silver ratio you can see here it's going back to the early 90s and we are at highly elevated levels still we closed around just below 86 uh yesterday the gold silver ratio of course is down from the from the top uh, around 93 94 earlier this year so what is the gold silver ratio well it's the price of gold in ounces of silver right now you need almost 86 ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold many of you know that historically precious metals bull markets uh, tend to uh, show uh, silver outperforming so this ratio tends uh, to go uh, lower when there's a general bull market uh, in the precious metals uh, silver hasn't done as well as gold since uh, the end of 2015, gold bottom at 1,045, and we're now almost 1,500. Uh, silver uh, bottom around 14, and we're only at 17. So silver has a lot to uh, a lot of work to do to catch up. As you can see in this chart, when we had the move in gold and silver higher uh, from 09 to 2011, you can see how this uh, gold silver ratio dropped uh, so that's the longer term picture it shows you that silver is still uh, undervalued not only against all assets but against gold as well let's uh, look at a, a more shorter term chart of this uh, ratio this is going back to uh, around the beginning of 2016 and i found a few uh, formations here uh, one of them as you can see uh, it's evolving. It's a head and shoulder formation. Uh, you see the trend line 
going down uh, from left to right here. That's the neckline. And, and then you have a rising wedge, which is a consolidation uh, formation in a downward market. Just like a falling wedge is the consolidation move in the rising market, the, the rising wedge is a consolidation move in a falling market. And as you can see here, this rising wedge as well is forming the right hand shoulder of that head and shoulder. Uh, and it looks like we're breaking at the bottom of this rising wedge. So that technically looks quite positive uh, for uh, silver to outperform against gold. Yesterday we saw that silver outperform gold as well during the day, yesterday, the trading day. Uh, gold was slightly lower to unchanged and silver was up a bit, um, about 10 cents or maybe a little more. So uh, that's the technical picture there. So we've got the cyclical picture, according to Dimitri Spec, that uh, silver does very well from mid-December to the end of the year and also from the beginning of the year to the end of February. Silver in the last 69 years has had its best period in that period. So we've also, we're also seeing the gold-silver ratio starting to drop. It looks technically like we could go lower. Uh, next target would, of course, be uh, just below 80. I think there is also some support around 83. Let's have a look at the uh, long-term chart of silver. As you can see here from 2011, uh, we topped just under 50 and uh, Basically, we've been languishing for about six years in silver. So there's a lot of upside potential, I would say. Downside is limited, I would say, especially with what's going on in the monetary system. So that's the long-term chart of silver, just to give you an idea of how depressed that metal is. And now a shorter term, I've been speaking about this uh, flag formation. Uh, we're still in it but it looks like it's picking up. To finish off, let's have a look at the uh, gold price. Uh, we, we saw in the last two days of this week, gold trying to break above 1480. I think we got to 1482, but it's kept, uh, it's been kept uh, suppressed, in my opinion, a little bit by the bullion banks. But uh, next week, uh, if gold stays where it is right now or moves up a little bit, we will have broken out of this falling wedge. Uh, technical picture still looks very good for gold. So to sum up, uh, yes, I think it is the season to have silver or it is the season if you don't have any silver, in my opinion, to, to get some silver, uh, not just for the move till the end of February, but uh, more longer term, uh, precious metals are a good uh, insurance policy to have outside the, the banking system. They've been money for thousands of years. Uh, does this mean I'm going to sell my gold and get silver? No, I'll stick to who? to the gold I have and to the silver I have. Uh, I might uh, buy some more silver. Uh, who knows? But um, the seasonal picture is looking good or cyclical picture is looking good for silver. And I've said uh, many times uh, in the past and even recently that uh, in order for the precious metals boom market to really get uh, <laughs> moving, we need to see silver outperforming. So it looks right now that we could see that. Does this mean I think gold and silver are going to go to the moon soon? No, but we need to start somewhere. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Please share this video far and wide as well. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, BitChute, DTube, and Steemit. I wish you all a great weekend and a great uh, holiday uh, period as well. And I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.